Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming a how to get your first teen job. This is a video that I've wanted to make forever, 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 but I've never had a teen, a teen job, so I was never able to post a video like this, but um, yeah, I'm super excited to film this video because I've watched so many of these videos and I like seldom see videos that are helpful to me and that are like good quality, so I just wanted to film one for you guys to help you guys out um, I'm gonna be talking about my background experience and um, just like struggles I've had looking for a job because I think that's very important to mention because I got super discouraged in the job process so if any of you guys are discouraged right now I just want to kind of like film that story so that you guys can relate and understand that it is not easy to find a teen job for everyone some people have it really easy but for others it's not so yeah, let's just get started and get right into the video. You guys, I'm going to put on my hat, but this is the place that I work at. Can you see that? I can't even tell, but anyways, normally my hair is tied back when I'm wearing this, but I recently just got my first teen job at Little Caesars, and I literally ever since I was little I've wanted to work so 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 bad I just didn't have time I put academics ahead of finding a job which I'm gonna touch on in a different video how to balance work in school but um yeah so I put off finding a job but once senior year hit all of my friends were working literally everyone in my grade was working except for me and I thought to myself I was like isn't it really ironic how like I've wanted to work since I was like six years old and I'm the last one to get a job? So I really put a lot of my energy into looking for a job and I applied to a ton of jobs junior year. I didn't get any of them. I applied to mug shakes and um, I applied to Seize Candies and both the places didn't hire me. But from what like they told me after I followed up, they said I didn't have work experience prior to that. Which is why I think it's like very imperative to film a video on how to get your first teen job because a lot of places don't want to hire you if you don't have work experience. So yeah, so I'm just going to start off with a background story. So basically, I just felt really discouraged. I couldn't really find a job for the longest time. I kept on applying and I was like, is there something wrong with me where people don't want me? I was like, am I doing bad in interviews? like do they just not like my vibe because that's kind of something you think about it's okay to feel sad about it because I felt sad about it and I don't like I think it's kind of important to your job search journey so that when you do get a job you appreciate it more so it's okay to get rejected from jobs but it's okay because that's just part of life so that sounds really cliche but I'm just saying this because I want you guys to know that I've gotten rejected and I have a job now so that's really all that matters and if you're going through that right now I don't really like want you to think something's wrong with you because nothing is wrong with you so yeah that was basically my background story and kind of like as we like spiral into how I got my job what happened was I wasn't looking for a job at all but um my brother wanted to build a golf net and we were going to Home Depot, the place where I live, Home Depot and Little Caesar are like right next to each other. And I was walking by Little Caesars and I was like, you know, I want some crazy bread. Let's get some crazy bread. So I walked in they actually had a four hiring sign. I was like, shoot, like I'm not going to apply to Little Caesars. Like I don't want to work here. But I was like, you know what, whatever. So I picked up a card and I applied online and I just did it nonchalantly. I already had a resume made because of prior jobs I was applying to. Also, I'm like obsessed with resumes and just LinkedIn and like getting all your accomplishments kind of like culminated into one area. So I had a resume made so it was super easy for me to just upload it. I filled out the application, super chill, super easy. I didn't really expect anything out of it, but about like a week later, I got a call and I didn't know who it was from, but I recognized the area code. So I picked up, it was them, I had a job interview and I didn't know if I was gonna go. I was like, mm, should I go, should I not? I ended up going and basically I went, I had a two round interview. 
the interview was not that easy to be honest like I thought it'd be a lot easier but I had to do like role play and all this type of stuff and then after that I had to take like a 70 question test just to test my like cognition abilities and stuff like that um I went through that I passed I had to take like a personality test this whole thing and then I actually got hired on the spot which was crazy to me I didn't even know that could happen but of course, I accepted the offer and I followed through. So, um, just kind of more of a background story. I mean, yeah. So now I'll just get into how I got the job. Um, I applied online. So what I suggest you guys to do is to not be picky and apply to a ton of different jobs all at once. Don't just apply to one because then you're going to spend all your time waiting for a response, for a response that you might never get. So just apply to a ton of jobs all at once online and then you'll just start and then you'll kind of just start getting calls and you can just go in for your job interview you might not get a call you might get a call it's it's very like very random so just wait for a call and if you don't get a call don't sweat it just apply to another place just keep on applying because the more places you apply the higher chance you have of getting a follow-up interview so just apply to every single place online. Have a resume made. Um, I'll link my resume down below if you guys want an example of like a first teen job resume or like a high school first resume type of thing. So I will link my resume down below if you guys want to look at it. So yeah, I had a resume made and then I just went into an interview. I didn't really prep for the interview that much um, just because I've like done so many interviews and I kind of know what to say. So I don't think it's necessary to prep if talking comes easy to you, but if it doesn't, then you can just search up example interview questions and kind of rehearse for it and come up with your own answer. Or you can just leave me a comment down below and I could try to kind of try to advise you in your interview. Um, for interview dress code, I would suggest doing like um, a classy um like professional outfits so what i did was i did khaki pants and a blue polo and i thought that was pretty appropriate for my interview so i just went in it was chill i did that get your resume ready if you want you can do a cover letter i don't think that a cover letter is really that important if you are um working at a food place what i had to do is i had to get a food workers permit and that was 22 dollars. so just be aware that if you are going to go into the food industry, you're going to kind of start in the negatives because I had to buy um, non-stick rubber shoes, which cost me $30. And then I had to buy um, a food permit, which was like another 20 and all the time and everything. So I was in the hole for a while. But yeah, um, I would also just suggest trying to go to companies that have more than, I think it's 15 employees or 10 employees because the more employees you have, the more your minimum wage is and most teen jobs are minimum wage. So a lot of my friends are making $10, but I'm making $10.50 because there's, I think there's more than 15 people working at the place that I work at. So that's how that works. And um, yeah, I would just, that's basically all my tips for how to get your first teen job. Just apply to a ton of places and don't be too picky because once you get your first job, you can always use it as a stepping stone to get an another job, which I think is one of the best things about getting your first teen job. So yeah, um, in another video, I'll kind of go over the basics, but um, that's basically it. That's how I got my first teen job. <laughs>